The question that we are going to be doing right now um, is a question on the revenue and the distribution of revenue. So it reads as follows. Below shows the distribution of revenue among the different government sectors in South Africa for the period of 2013 slash 14 to 2017 slash 18. So you can see there that we are given uh, one, two. Let's just make a little highlight of that. We are given one, two, three, four, Five years and the years are in fact given to us in billions so it's us to take note of that billion over there because that's the number that we are going to be using for all of our values so the question for this particular one here you can see we've got some missing value and we've got national um, provincial and we've got our local over there and we've got some missing values that we probably are going to be calculating well, let's read what the question says to us when the revenue of the local government sector was compared to the provincial so the local um, was compared to the provincial and it says to us in 2013 14 it was found to be 20 percent of the provincial sector so we know that the local so we know that the local is 20 um, is 20.12%. 20 so you need to be extra, extra careful um, about all of that 20.12% of. So it's of the provincial. I'll just write it like that. Anytime you hear the word of, it's a key word for multiplication. So we know we're going to be finding 20% of the provincial in order for us to find the local. So of is multiplication. Let's go and multiply whatever that has been given to us there. We know that provincial is 410.6 for that particular year times 20. 0.12 over 100. So the of is already being put into there. And if we go and we calculate how much that is going to give us, it then becomes 410.6 times 20.12 all over 100. I told you anytime you see 100, you know for sure um, that it's going to be whatever that is. So in order for us to know what exactly we are writing, because you can see the number is very long after um, the comma. In order for us to know what we are rounding it off to, we need to look at whatever we've been given. And in this particular case, all the other numbers have been rounded off um, to one decimal place. So here we've got 82.6. So we know we're going to use it as... 82.6. Why about that? Let's go up. All the numbers here are rounded off to one decimal place. All the numbers here are rounded off to one decimal place. So that's the beauty of it because the instructions, if you go to your instructions, I feel like very, very, very lazy to read the instructions. Do not be lazy to read your instructions to where you are going to know exactly what it is that you need to be writing. If your instructions at the very beginning say, round off all your numbers to, de to, to, to two decimal places unless stated otherwise, um, and I find of late they like saying, round off um, to, the, uh, to, 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 the, to the context, whatever that the context is telling you, round off to whatever the context is. And in this particular case, the context is telling us one decimal place. So that's why my number was then rounded off to one decimal place. You can write your number off and I always advise learners to write the number out first out and then round it off so that if you are rounding it off incorrectly, I can see at least that you did get the right answer initially. Okay, so the next question um, says to us that we need to calculate the missing value of E. So in order for us to calculate the missing value of E, we had to find that 82... 0.6. So it means that we are then able to add all those numbers 
um, together. Let's see. That's 453.4. Therefore, 454, which is provincial, plus 410. Sorry, that's national. 410.6. 410.6. Plus 82.6. So now we've got all of that and we are able to do our calculations. So that's going to be 453.4 plus 410.6 plus 82.6. So SD, that is going to give us. 946.6. We know that the numbers that we are given, because we have been told, numbers are given in billions. So we know that that number is going to be um, a billion there going on. So let's go to the next question. The next question says to us, determine by which the revenue for the national government sector increased during the period 2014 and 15 and 15 and 16. So what they're asking us here is percentage increase. There's a formula for percentage increase. Know the formula. Sometimes it's given, sometimes it's not given. So you always want to be ready with that particular formula. So we want to know the percentage increase. And the percentage increase um, is for national government so this is national government and it's for the years between this year and this year we want to know the percentage in formula for percentage increase is as follows so percentage increase and i'll just write it down here is equals to it's going to be the final number minus the initial number. And initial is beginning. Ne? Initial, I think that's how you spell it. All over the initial or the first times 100. So because we are calculating percentage, you have to do that multiplication by 100 there. Let's look at the numbers that we are given. The numbers that we are given um, for the percentage increase for the um, government that we are being asked over here is going to give us 546.1 minus 490. All over the initial being 490 times 100. And then our famous device over here. Let's just use it over there. Um, 546.1 minus, let me put it all together so that I don't have to do a lot of things at the same time. 540. 6.1 minus 490 all over 490, which is the initial times 100, which gives us 11.45%. 11. percent So that is the percentage increase between the two years. Okay. And we are talking billions and billions and billions of rands. So it says to us, explain why the national government sector received more revenue than the other sectors. Let's go up and just see what exactly it is that they're talking about. Why did the national sector, and if you can see, there's a, there's a little trend um, in this year, it got more 
in this year it got more, in this year it also got more, in this year it also got more. So here we're being asked why the national revenue, um, the national sector is getting more revenue than the other sectors. And the reason for this obviously is because the national is all the way at the top and the national is the umbrella um, for the rest of the other sectors. And I mean, a question like this, you, you may not have your neighbor or your other neighbor or anyone else, but a question like this is marked on your reasoning. And your reasoning should always be based on the text. Please try to refrain um, from becoming too creative because sometimes people become too creative. And when you are too creative, then you are starting to answer things out of context. Always make sure that whatever reasoning that you are using is within the context um, that you have been given. The next question, which is also the last question for this particular question, it says to us, calculate the revenue allocated to the local government sector for the period of 2017 and 18, and that's the one that's not given. If the distribution of revenue among the different sectors was done according to the following ratio. I love this. I'm going to write down what the ratio um, that was given is. So now we're incorporating a bit of ratios. So I'll mark that as four. Not sure how much, what I marked the rest as. Um, so the one we're given, it's local is to provincial is to national. And the way that it's been given is one is to 4.7. Seven eight four is to five point two four six. So that's the ratio that we've been given, and we are asked to calculate how much. Um, it says to us here, calculate the revenue allocated to the local government sector. So we want to know that if all these other ones got so much money, how much would the local government get? And this is how we would do it, guys. The first thing you do whenever you're given a ratio like this is that you add all your ratios up. So you would say 1 plus 4.784 plus 5.246. So that's what's given to you there. Let's go and add it all up. So if we are to add all of that up, just making sure that everyone can see, 1 plus 4.784 plus 5.246, that is what we are going to get, which gives us 11, didn't see the rest of that, 0 0.03, 0 0.03. So we know that this is the total of our ratio. The next step that I'm going to use is what's going to give us the revenue now that is given for the local. We know that the local was given one. So this is going to become a fraction. So if I, now therefore, let's just write local over there. It equals to 1 all over this entire thing, 11.03 times the, uh, the total amount that was given. So they're telling us here that the total um, amount that was given, let's go look at it there so that I don't lose you guys. This is the total amount that was given. So we're going to be calculating um, that so it's the fraction so it's the local over whatever that times the total amount which is one two four zero point five okay and then that is going to then give us one all over eleven point zero three times 1240.5 there we go that is going to give us 1 
one, two. And we remember that our numbers um, up there are rounded off to one decimal place. So I'm going to make it 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So let's go up. I just want to clarify something. So make sure this is all in billions. Billion, sorry. Remember your unit of measurement. <laughs>